Hi everyone, welcome back to Chellington. And we're going to finish that field today. And we're going to finally finish the silaging. Because I think we need to move away from silaging. We've done an awful lot of it recently. So, uh, yeah, I think we've done enough. And when it's done, we'll move on to the next job. Uh, someone complained actually that I was doing so much silaging and harvesting. But they just seem to be the more popular thing, so that's why I do them. Um, we are going to do harvesting next, but then I think after that we probably will diversify a bit, do some other things. Um, but yeah, just refueling the Massey Ferguson. Don't want it flashing up that message all the time. There we go. So, let's take this back to the field, where the class is already waiting for us. We're going to be in the harvester as usual. Um, and yes, I have redone the course. A few of you saying if you do it without a trailer on, it's actually better. So that's what I've done. We'll see if it works. Hopefully it will. So here we go. Let's just hope this all works really well. With two tractors this time. Hopefully both of them are going to pay attention and actually do the job properly. I think it was partly my fault though for not setting them up properly. But yeah, they were doing some weird things yesterday. wondering what the Massey Ferguson's doing, it's basically just finding its track, because I didn't start it at the actual beginning of the course, so when it gets to it, it should turn around and come back to us. It's not a problem, because I don't want it here yet, because we're still filling up this tractor. But yeah, if this all runs smoothly, this is going to go really well. And it's about time something did go well, because usually everything I do uh, sort of fails, so if it works, Fantastic. Inspector mod really does come in handy with this. There we go, the Massey Ferguson has realised where it is. So it should queue up behind us and get ready to unload straight after this one. They're set to go at 90%. Wasn't going to fill them because they will be hanging about otherwise. Yeah, just a shame about them driving through the crop. That's the only bad thing about it. That's 90, but I, for some reason they don't seem to go at 90, they just wait until they're full. Maybe that only works with the grain. No idea. Anyway, um, yep. Get ready. Go. Go. Good. Next one. Come on, Matty Ferguson. Please, <laughs> don't just sit there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Don't crash, don't. Oh, no. Oh. Well, actually, it's come on the right side in the end, so maybe that was a good thing, despite it crashing. The thing I'm most interested in here, though, is whether they can actually tip. And because I reverse further this time, can they reverse with the trailer, or will they just jackknife? Actually, I should think they'll probably jackknife. When we see it get close to the tipping point, we're going to head over there and just make sure it is all going to plan. Here it is, almost there. This is going to be interesting. 
and I don't think it's going to work. That's my positive attitude. Right, so let's just have a look anyway. It should be going in the empty one. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's uh, hit the trigger for that one. But it doesn't seem to empty into that one anymore, so I don't know what that's about. I might not have pulled forward enough. If this starts to reverse before that trailer is straight, then that's my fault. Oh, actually. Wow. It's actually working. And I didn't go right to the back. I wanted to, but I just didn't want to risk it. That is actually working. Wow. That's amazing. Something I did actually worked. Well, that is good news. Okay, back to the harvester. Here comes the class. We don't need it yet. I think this trail is smaller than the other one. Hard to tell though. We're almost there. And there. Next tractor. Why does he always do that? That is really weird. At least now, because we've got such a small amount remaining, we can just go up one side and then down the other to so turn around. It makes it much easier. Hopefully the other tractor can manage it as well, reversing into that pit. It must be about to tip. Should see it go down on the inspector mod, the 100%. When it does start, I think it's reversing at the moment. We need it soon though, because I'm on this one's in 78 percent. I hope it hasn't got stuck, because it could have done. Oh, it's slipping apparently. Okay, it's got stuck. I don't know how. It's got. It's on the same course. We better go and take a look. Interesting. Don't know how it's managed that. Uh, that is weird. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well, not to worry. The other tractor can manage it.
on its way back now. Uh, 95%. So we need another tractor quick. I think if it hadn't got stuck, it would have been perfect timing. Okay, so we need a machine actually clamping the silage. So I'm going to head over there with the new Holland loader. Not the ideal machine, but it will work. So what I'm going to do is set a course play just for this to go backwards and forwards all day long and clamp it until it's 100%. That way we'll be able to blanket it over. We'll do the one which has already been filled, or at least it's been filled a little bit. And the one we've finished uh, probably when we're harvesting we'll be able to get it onto the next one and it can do the same thing for that one. So, yep, we'll head over there now. Probably the first time we've had all the equipment going at the same time. Obviously not the sprayer and the combine, but a lot of the machines, they're all working. Okay, so I think, if I remember rightly, the last time I did it, I used this one here. It's the one which is called Drive From Start To Finish and I think that is what you use. Wow this is steep. I don't want to get in the way of the trailers so I think if we work from there... Whoa, it's like a rough sea. And I can't remember how you do it. I don't think you put a park on. I think you just go into reverse and then head backwards. I'll have to see. I don't know if that works. It might have worked. It's doing that bit okay. As long as it can go back forwards again here, if it if it knows to go forwards again. Yeah. No, obviously it needs a bit of fine tuning. Right, I've done it again. Uh, if this does work, then what I did wrong was I put the stop point too close to the start point. If it doesn't work, I don't know what I've done wrong. Oh, uh, where's it going? Right. Okay, I'm doing something really badly wrong here. I've done it! Brilliant! Right, watch. Here we go. It doesn't go right to the front, but it, it still clamps it. It's compacting 36% so far. It is just to do with where I put the finishing point. Yes! Sorted! Right, we can leave that going up and down like that. What a fun job. And we're going to go back to this, where both the tractors are waiting. There's another one done, heading to the silage pit, and now we're doing this one again. And yeah, we're coming to the end. We really have not got much left. I don't want them to be filled too quickly, because on the, the course which I've set them, they come back pretty much the same way as they go. So if, one, if this one goes, for example, before the other one comes back, 
they're likely they're going to crash into each other. So the best thing that you could have is if one comes back and gets to the field just as this one's full. That way we won't have any accidents. And I think it is working out like that really. This one hasn't gone before while the other one's still tipping. Except for when it crashed. Yeah, the timing is actually really good. Massey Ferguson's just got back to the field. We're on 90%, so it couldn't be better, really. hoping we'll squeeze this all into this trailer. Should do. Here we go, the final bit, the huge field is finally finished. Easily got it in there. So, as we are done, we need to send that tractor off and empty. And I need to stop the other tractor, which is probably en route back. Yes, it is. should be fine, it won't crash. Um, and this, which should be almost done. Brilliant, 100%. So, we can stop him. And we'll put it over here somewhere. Out the way, of course. And turn it off. Uh, that means we can now blanket this over. Fantastic. So that is our money. That really is all of our money in here. So much of it. It's actually leveled off really well without driving over it. Uh, so I think we'll sit here and uh, twiddle our thumbs until the other tractor turns up. Yeah, it did a good job. I mean, it's not like the big JCB or anything, or the new Holland front loader, uh, but the wheel loader, but it's still pretty good. It did a good job, and it's got to do this one next, so we'll do that next time. Uh, where is it? It's on the road. There it is. When it goes over, if I don't get in the way, which I probably will do, let's see if we can read what it weighs. I should think it was stop though. Almost 27 tons. Oh yeah, this is the one which struggles. I'm going to have to empty this myself.
But yep, yeah, that is the field done, and I think we've done really well out of it. So thanks for watching, and we'll probably be harvesting next time. So until then, thanks for watching, and bye for now.